Good morning. It's tater day. I'm going to show you how I do my lazy bed. Sometimes it yields real, real good, and sometimes it don't. The reason why it didn't do real good last year is because I had it in another part, almost in the woods, and the voles got them. Hadn't seen many voles up here, so I'm hoping it'll do good. I've raised them up here in the past, and they've done wonderful. So I'm going to show y'all how I do this, and hopefully, uh, you might want to try a few of them. I love those little old red Pontiacs, probably about 50 cent size. My wife, she'll take and fry them suckers up with some fresh green beans, and man, they are awesome. But first, let's open up in prayer. Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. And Lord, I just ask, Lord, you just bless all my subscribers and the ones that are watching. Lord, meet their needs, Lord, whatever they may be. And Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for us and our farm, Lord, because I couldn't do it without you. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, one other thing. I had somebody to ask me where I got my tiller at for my tractor. Okay, where I got it at was at uh, Craig's Farm Supply. It's an independent supply company. They're located in Burke County, North Carolina, close to Morgan. They're way out in the country. They, them boys, they do good. They, they'll help you out all they can. And uh, if, if you, I don't know if they have a website, but you can look it up, Greg's Farm on, on, uh, on the uh, uh, Google, and you find out where they're located at. All right. We're going to put in a few taters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a small patch, let you see what I'm doing, and then I'll come back, and you can see the whole patch when it's done. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out a little bit of bone meal. I think taters love it. It's for a root crop. And it stinks to high heaven. That'll be enough for right now. Until I get the first part of them done. Then I'll put some more out. Alright, now this right here is plant tone, all purpose plant food. I like using this. I'm going to put some of this out. It is, uh, let me see, what, what does it say it is? Oh, it's 533. It's all natural. So it, it's good stuff. Now this stinks like chicken litter. I think it's got feathers in it, and I like it. Okay, that's enough for that. Now let me grab a rake. Oh, my, now the seed potatoes that I'm using, the red pony eggs, but they are uh, blue goose. And uh, okay, now let me. Uh, where I got them at, I got them in Marion, in a uh, little, old, uh, another little old place, and it's P and R Produce. They got fresh produce. They also got uh, uh, seeds and stuff like that. And I tried to find some around here close, and never have been able to find that. But I found them out last year. And I called them and they had some. So I got a hundred pound of red pony egg. I don't know how far these taters are going to go because I'm going to be planting them pretty close. Uh, most of you may not agree. But the reason why I'm doing that is is because I don't have a whole lot of room. Now some of these taters were pretty good size. So since they were pretty good size, I did cut them. 
most of the time I don't. These here that I cut was right at as big as you fist. And see there, that nerve's got a few eyes on it, but it don't have many. So that's all I left. But you don't have to cut them if you don't want to. Uh, I'm just uh, trying my best to get the most out of my buck. And usually, if they turn over, I don't worry about it because they're going to flip up. They're going, the, the, the tater's going to come up anyway. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is what you call a lazy boy bed. In other words, when I get finished with it today, I'm done. I won't mess with it. I might throw a little bit of fertilizer. If it gets dry, I will throw out some... Uh, I'll put out some water. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is, let me see here. I'm just gonna sort of step on them a little bit to mash them down in the dirt. Cause it's pretty, pretty soft. And uh, I'll show you what else I'm gonna do. I done this one year. And this is that place, it's been several years, so I know I can do it now in here. It's probably been, probably 10 years since I've had taters in here. And they raised a good patch. I took it, it was in our festivals, is around uh, the day before Father's Day. And I had these taters in. I mean, they were beautiful. I had people coming, Mickey. I love those plants that you got at the end of your day list. What are those? I'd like to buy some of them. I said, they ain't nothing but tater plants. I said, that's my red pony axe. And I like them so small. Usually I don't get them full grown when I pick them. So sometimes I don't get as many as I should, but I get quite a few small ones. That's what I like. Now let me grab some of this old hay. Now, me and Todd come and got this old hay uh, yesterday. And I did not take a video of that. I'm sorry. I will, next time I gather hay up, I'll try to do that and let you see it. What I'm doing is... I'm gonna cover these taters up by six to eight inches of hay. Just leave them. They will be fine. Oh, there's a good pork. Oh yeah. Now this, this old hay is some of the hay that I've been taking and uh, feeding the cattle. And what they've done is this is the excess hay. It's got their urine, it's got their uh, manure in it. So it's gonna act like a fertilized tooth. and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. This is all I'm doing. And it works well. So let me stop this and we'll get back with you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. I was going to show you these. This bed. And you can see it. It's full of hay. It's from about eight, probably 12 inches of nothing but 
hay on top of these taters. This is 50 pound of taters. Okay. We'll, let, we'll keep you informed on it and let you see what it does. I'm expecting a good crop of taters out of here. And we'll see you later. Bye.